Hi, it's Jeff here from discoverdoublebass.com. That is the home of online video double bass lessons and courses. Please go check the website out if you're a double bass player. We've got a whole bunch of resources uh, and I'm sure that you'll enjoy them. So I'll provide a link underneath this video. Today's lesson's a really quick one. I'm gonna teach you the fingering um, that I used to play the tune that you just heard, the kind of funky piece that we've just been listening to. Um, the double bass today has been learned to me by bassbags.co.uk and it's an Eastman VB200. If you're interested in learning more about this double bass, you can follow the link below to their website. Let's get into the details. Okay, well the tune starts with this phrase. What am I doing here? It starts off E, B, D, B. All in one position, so it's the first position of the neck heel. And then my hand moves back a semitone and I play C sharp, A on the D string and open A. So you can practice the first part. And it's quite easy to find those notes because your first finger will be under the E harmonic. You can even use the open E as a tuning anchor if you prefer. If you're not sure how to use the neck heel, I'll provide a link to a lesson explaining that below this video. So, and as I just mentioned a moment ago, it falls back onto a C sharp, A, and then open A. So a semitone distance gives you C sharp with a first finger, A, with a second, and then open A. Now we shift down, C. So you've got C, G played with your little finger, B with your second finger on the, on the G string, so that's C, G, B, and then open D. And then you play D again, but this time it's the stop pitch with your first finger, A, with your little finger on the D, um, and then there's this C sharp at the top with a heavy vibrato. Let's just lead up to that. So when I play the, I'm trying to get it as heavy and wide as I can. Uh, it's a, you know, it's an effect. It's a really unusual way to use vibrato and I wouldn't play this way normally, uh, but it kind of stands out there and you know, that note kind of really pops out within the, within the riff. And then be really careful that whilst you're kind of doing this really wide vibrato, you start really confidently on the next phrase, which starts on the note E with your first finger. So from the beginning, shift. So, and then we're back in playing the same phrase that you started with. The second phrase starts exactly like the first, so it's E, B, D, but instead of playing the B again, just put your finger somewhere around B flat and then shift up to the note E on the D string. So you've got to slide up and you don't really hear the start of the pitch because the note slides so quickly. You just hear wah, you just hear the, the target note. And then we've got, so that's E, G, which is at the G harmonic. And then I hammer on the A really quickly with a grace note. And then I play the last G. And you can either play it as a harmonic, which will give you room to uh, time to get down easier to the C, or you can try and smudge it. And I found that really hard to do when I was practicing it, but I did think it sounded cool. <laughs> it's a little, maybe a little bit much. So in that case, let's stick with the harmonic, yeah. And that will give you time to get back down. So E, B, D, somewhere around B flat, doesn't really matter because you're just shifting up to the note E, G, hammering on A, G, which you play as a harmonic. And from here, it's exactly the same. So that's the whole riff, let's go through it again. Well, 
that's it for today. Really quick video just teaching you the fingering for the piece. Be really careful that you practice slowly and that you let the open strings ring out so you can use them as tuning anchors to reference your pitch to make sure that you're, you're getting it right because you move around the double bass quite a lot with this uh, short study piece. Anyway, keep practicing hard. If you enjoyed the video, press that like button and I'll see you next time.